Trump refuses to sign corrupt coronavirus bill. Pelosi says Democrats are ready to vote unanimously for the larger checks. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says the president just needs to sign the bill and let Congress work on another deal. The president had already signed a stopgap spending measure, keeping the government open for a few more days. For uh, coming down the stairs on Christmas morning, but not this year. Like we did over Thanksgiving, we all have to care enough for each other that we have to stay apart. Just a little bit longer. 
He said his family is praying for those with an empty seat at the dinner table this holiday season. There's no specific money amount earmarked for restaurants in this latest legislation, though there is loan money that is available, and restaurants will be given more leeway with how they spend it. Fox Wars' Macy Jenkins joins us now to continue our coverage. Macy. Good evening, Clarice. The Texas Restaurant Association estimates that anywhere between 10 and 12,000 restaurants had to close this year due to the pandemic. And while there is relief now on the table, the damage to the industry could take years to repair. We don't have the huge bank accounts to tide us over for six months. Some of us don't have it for two months. The new COVID relief bill set to put an additional $284 billion into the Paycheck Protection Program, coming at just the right time for struggling restaurants like Max on Main in Grapevine. The first round really uh, enabled me to keep my management staff employed, my the core of my kitchen staff employed. Uh, so it was, it was really a, a lifeline for me. In this second round, restaurants will be eligible to receive more payroll funding, plus the ability to write off more expenses like costs for safety equipment. And it will allow them to make technology and curbside pickup upgrades. But while the bill earmarks billions for live event venues and billions for the airline industry, restaurant owner Raina Frost says this round of relief is simply a band-aid for restaurants. I mean, they bailed out airlines, they bailed out automobile corporations, and we're, we're their neighbors. We're the little guys that operate the coffee shops and small restaurants, and we need something that's set up for us. President Trump offering similar criticism late Tuesday night. And not enough money is given to small businesses, and in particular restaurants. Dr. Emily Williams-Knight with the Texas Restaurant Association says while the second round is critical to keeping restaurants open, Congress has more work to do in the new year. Targeted relief, whether it be in tax incentives, but also in direct grants to restaurants, it's the only way to get the industry through this. She paints a daunting comparison of recovery after the pandemic to the recovery after Hurricane Harvey in 2017. It was 18 months for the restaurants in those 30 counties to get back to pre-Harvey levels. We are projecting today it could take three to four years for this industry to recover. Knight says that restaurants could see that money as soon as January and they will have 24 weeks to use it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button.